Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wasn't meant to be coming on camera today, hence the no makeup and messy, messy hair, which has just been snowed on despite the fact that the sun is now creeping out. We've just had this really bizarre snow, snow shower and now the sun's out, it's crazy, but I just drove to both Aldi and Tesco to stock up on the, a few bits for the week ahead when it comes to groceries and I thought I would show it with you because I get a lot of requests like what do you buy on a weekly basis and um, what do you get from the grocery store when you're meal planning and all that kind of thing in mind so I thought I would very quickly just show you a week's to 10 days maybe a little bit more maybe a couple of weeks in some cases grocery shop for a family of four and one of us me is on the wellness that works Weight Watchers plan so I thought I would share it all with you today again it's a mixture of things from Aldi and Tesco I'll let you know where it is from and if I have any meal ideas for any of the ingredients I will share them with you as well so I hope you all enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more grocery hauls from me and let's get cracking so right now it's not really in any kind of order I've literally just unpacked it um, from my uh, bags for life so I have a few lemons here I actually got um, eight lemons but there's no point in showing you eight lemons so I have lemons I have some organic carrots I have some oranges and aubergine I try to get package free where I can it's not always possible but I do try I also have three red onions I have some red yellow and orange peppers I don't buy green peppers because I'm very much with Nigella Lawson that a green pepper is simply an unripe pepper so I do not buy them so those are the colors that I buy I also have some passata here I use passata very often as you guys will know from my what I eat in a day videos I also picked up some butter beans for thickening out curries and casseroles that kind of thing I also have two tins of the Aldi chopped tomatoes everything by the way that I've shown so far is from Aldi I also have some fresh coriander I have a cauliflower here I'm thinking about doing cauliflower mash with sausage and caramelized onion I think that would be delicious and a nice alternative to potato mash so I have that from Tesco I also picked up these two Schwartz chicken casserole sachets again I know I have parents evening coming up this week so I figured one night a meal in the slow cooker is going to be really handy for me i have a pack of celery again that was from aldi some eggs from aldi i have these reduced fat pork sausages and i have two packs of the snack pot grapes i don't know i kind of feel like layla is going off grapes a little bit so i've only got the small packets because if she doesn't eat them i definitely will um, andrew likes grapes as well but harrison doesn't care for them too much I also have a pack of raspberries, blackberries and blueberries, you guys will know these types of things feature a lot in my what I eat in a day videos for sure. Um, this is from Tesco, I got the Alpro Soya Chocolate Milk, I'm not going to lie this isn't for me, this is for Andrew, he doesn't consume any lactose products and that is why you'll notice that the butter that we now buy is lactose free. The children don't have lactose free but myself and Andrew do on the most part. I also have some natural bratvi yogurt. This is just for a curry when I'm just doing it for myself. And if Andrew's having it with us, um, or with me rather, if it's not something he doesn't like, I also have the Alpro Simply Plain Yogurt, which of course is again lactose free. I have three packs of the Aldi flatbreads. We go through these like hot cakes, like seriously. <laughs> we also have some fresh bananas here. I don't normally buy two bunches of bananas, but I'm thinking about making these cookies today, which are oat, banana, and raisin cookies um, from the Weight Watchers app. So I'm looking forward to giving those a try. So that's why I picked up an excess of bananas. I have some organic mushrooms. I also have some sour cream because the sausage recipe that I'm going to do off the Weight Watchers app um, calls for sour cream, so I have some of that. I have some light mayonnaise that was from Tesco. I also have some beef stock pots from Tesco as well. And I have some chicken ones here. They didn't have the beef no ones um, that I could see in Tesco or I would have got those, but I feel like the own brand is probably just as good. I also got a pack or a tub of courgette. This for me just replaces pasta when I make a ragu sauce um, and it's really tasty and the texture is very, very similar to pasta. I got a pack of brioche buns for burger night. We tend to have burgers at least once a week to every 10 days. Um, speaking of burgers, I make my own burgers, of course. So I have two packs of mints here. I also have one in the freezer. One will make a biryani, a ragu, you know, burgers, and then the other one I'll have for a spaghetti bolognese or a chili or something like that. I also have two packs of smoked bacon. These are again all from Aldi. And I also have a nice big bag of kale. I really like kale. I don't have it very often, but I always really enjoy it when I do. So I have that. I also have a pack of raisins, again from Aldi. And I also have these beef sandwich steak thins. These are perfect and I've used these before for steak sandwiches and what I eat in a day. But I know you guys are loving them as well, so I always pick up a pack of those. I don't eat these very often, but I thought I would pick some up because these are ideal for pizza toppings. So you know one night, if you want to take away, you fancy a pizza, 
I make my own pizzas. I very, very rarely buy boxed pizza anymore or takeaway pizza. Um, and I find that these are just a really nice topping. So I get those. And I also have some meat here. So I have two miniature chicken breast fillets. They're not miniature, but they're just there's just two in there. Normally I buy the bigger packs, but I get these for lunch times, the smaller ones. And then I also have two packs of the mini breast fillets. I also have two in the freezer, so I definitely didn't need more of those. So I got them because, again, I use them so frequently. I also got a chicken for roasting and this is the whole chicken that I always buy from Aldi it's really nice really fantastic quality and I'm, I'm honestly I'm comparing it to M&S because that's normally where I used to get my chickens from and this one is so so good it's more expensive than the other ones that they do but I would definitely recommend it it's a really really nice one and it browns and crisps up really nicely and speaking of chicken I also got a cooked one from Tesco um, because we're gonna make a curry tonight and I don't have a lot of time it's actually a Sunday and I've not even done my ironing yet so we're gonna have that tonight and um, I might do what I eat in a day with it because I feel like it might be quite useful to, for you guys to see a curry that's not just either chicken breast or um, lamb or beef or something so I might do that tonight we'll see and I also last but not least picked up a pack of self-raising flour I'm constantly like buying baking goods because I'm always baking so I picked up that as well and that's pretty much it. This is just the selection of products that will definitely last us a week to 10 days. Um, I have some really cool, you know, ideas for meals in mind. So make sure you subscribe to see those meals in action from me in what I eat in a day videos. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it and comment if you would like to see more grocery hauls from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.